Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome to southwestern France. Uh, it's a bit of a damp start this morning. Had quite a bit of rain on and off yesterday. A bit irritating, really, trying to get stuff done. These tomato plants. Um, I won't harp on about them too long, but they're getting ginormous now. Um, they've grown from about eight inches to over three feet in about six weeks. There's quite a lot of tomatoes on there, but um, yeah, do they need to be... Uh, quite so wide I mean it's huge um, yeah a little bit of advice about tomatoes would be good because uh, I've never really successfully grown tomato plants you, got, you ever get one of those days where if you're honest you can't really be bothered <laughs> I do get days like this I know it doesn't look like I do but um, yeah and it's like you really can't be bothered you've got a list of jobs to do and you kind of think, wow, why don't I just put my feet up and eat chocolate all day? That sounds better. But I do have to tell myself that, um, yeah, without a bit of effort, or without quite a lot of effort, I won't have anywhere to live. <laughs> so it kind of motivates you. But yeah, I've got one of those jobs today that I do need to, um, I do need to do something with. So uh, every evening, I bring in the garden chair and the umbrella every evening and every morning I put it back out again. And um, obviously probably going to be doing that slightly less as time goes on, as we head towards the colder months. Um, so really it's going to need to go in the workshop. So this workshop, I call it a workshop because this is where work used to be done uh, back in the day. Uh, it's more of a barn, really. Uh, but it is an absolute disaster zone. Um, I call myself a bit of a minimalist. You know, I don't like stuff, but I just got stuff. Tons and tons and tons of stuff. So, uh, and most of it I've been through to get rid of stuff that I don't need. So generally everything in here is stuff that I do want to keep. I've got uh, quite a bit of uh, gardening equipment uh, to look after and there I have an old washing machine top loader washing machine I'm not even sure it works but <laughs> I'm loath to throw it away that used to live in the corner of my bathroom yeah I'm, I'm not going to throw it away just yet it might work I've seen, um, I've seen guys uh, with homesteads turn them into salad spinners and greens dryers and washers and I think oh well I'll hang on to that because you know it hasn't cost me anything so I'm gonna to need to move that that weighs an absolute ton I might put that in the in the back of the workshop that was actually under four inches of water a couple of months ago uh, so this area here just by the door is really where garden furniture is gonna to need to live but um yeah I've got a table there and just 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 stuff just stuff spray bottles and I've got one of these seed cabinets and apparently they're really sought after and uh, yeah it keeps the uh, it keeps the mice out of your seeds apparently just keep them indoors would be a good idea but anyway if anyone knows anything about those seed cabinets put it in the comments I'd love to know if you know about them so that uh, big workbench there that big, big heavy oak workbench if you um if you watch the channel from the beginning, you'll know that that was actually in the house. I thought, oh, I'd make a nice piece of furniture. Um, but it's kind of rotten and it's stunk. Um, so it came back out here. So my plan is to cut the legs down and to turn it into a bench and take it down to my wildlife area so we can sit down, chill out, have a drink and watch the world go by. That's the plan. Although how I get it in there, I have no idea because you know that is a seriously heavy lump of oak. Um, so yesterday, as you see, I, uh, if, you, if, if you were watching, I pulled out a table, a really rickety old table from under the stairs. And um, yeah, I'm loath to throw that away as well, really, because it's just handy to put stuff on. Um, that's that mentality, that hoarder mentality that's in the back of my mind, even though I've called myself a bit of a minimalist. I've got a, a little table here which stuff continually falls off. So yeah, I just need to... Yeah, even though one of those, it's one of those days I just want to sit down and do absolutely nothing. I know I want the lounge empty 
living room empty of a night time so the garden furniture has to go somewhere so you can only come in here um yeah so let's just crack on really just a little tip if you do feel like that with a job no matter what job it's the first 10 or 15 minutes is the hardest once you get past the first 10 or 15 minutes the rest of it is much much easier so if, you, if you're at school uh, or you're on a project and you can't you can't be bothered just try and do 10 minutes and then you'll get cracking So in the workshop, there's just tons of stuff that was left by the guy that used to live here. Some of it's quite good, quite handy. Look at that, that's, that's lovely, isn't it? A couple of axes, loads of tools, bits and pieces. And uh, he was into preserving food. I've said before, some of which I might show you, actually, some of which um, is still in there. And he had this gear. Now, if anyone can give me a little bit of advice as to what it is, what I should do with it. It's, uh, it's so tempting to just throw it in a skip. That's a thermometer of some description. And, um, yeah. What is that for? I have no idea. Maybe put jars in. Yeah, that would make sense. What's this for then? Would that go in a smaller container? What's this? What's this for? Yeah. Does that go on there? I think so. Anyway, got some bits and pieces there, if anyone's an expert out there. Got loads of junk like that in there. I've no idea what I was going to do with it. It's just been sitting there for years and it can sit there for a few more years. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to go mad clearing this out. Um, it is quite comforting to know that the ground is drier. Although I bet it's not completely dry. I'll put a light on and we'll have a look in the back. So I have cleared some stuff out, but there's still loads more to come out of here than I've just cleaned out along that wall. Now that is the wall, that's my bedroom wall, the other side of my bedroom wall. And uh, you can see it's quite damp, or you might be able to see it's quite damp in that corner, it's quite dark. And it's obviously drying out. Well now I have a crack in the bedroom wall, don't I? Anyway, so this was under four inches of water. So this is the first time I've been in here uh, since then. So if you look closely, you might be able to see cracks now that must be just the clay in the ground now, cracking. That looks quite damp there still. Um, and there's some old oak beams there. Lots of junk, obviously. And uh, I've got some old wine in here. Some of it, uh, I have actually, <laughs> I have actually searched into what it is and uh, had a look online. Yeah, some of it's uh, worth about 30 or 40 pound a bottle. So. Anyway, I don't drink, so that can just sit there. Uh, you might also have spotted those. <laughs> so, yeah, the guy was obviously, I hope you can see me. The guy was obviously into a bit of food preservation. And uh, he's got hundreds and hundreds of glass jars uh, waiting to be used. And uh, I had, I probably had a hundred more and I donated them to someone. Um, because they were more interested in that sort of thing than me. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's probably a uh, medical experiment in there now, isn't it? What do you think? Probably not going to try to eat those peaches. It'd be interesting to know what they're preserved in. But the peach tree uh, was here when I arrived uh, four years ago. It was it was kind of dead, um, but it was here. Uh, so he was obviously keen on preserving peaches. So uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your comments about this little bit. I should, probably should have done a separate video about this uh, little unit.
Hodges found. Condoms? In the workshop? In the dungeon at the back? Ugh. I just love rearranging junk. Found a couple of interesting things. I found a... Desherbon. 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 A uh, weed killer uh, for carrots and celery. Really? How does that work? Um, yeah, that looks very 1960s or 70s, doesn't it? Don't think I'll be using that. Um, so I did actually used to use this little bench, probably from the 1920s or 30s or older maybe. Um, see, what do you do with stuff like that? You just store it, you keep it forever. You know, it's tricky, isn't it? Because it's a lovely little thing. Um, anyway, I've rearranged some junk, kind of tidied it up, got a big pile of rubbish to get rid of, um, made use of that table that I found under the stairs, uh, and I've got somewhere to, got somewhere to store garden chair and umbrella. So kind of a successful morning. Anyway. A uh, quick thank you to the uh, guys and girls that have uh, uh, bought me a coffee. Really appreciate it. You're so lovely, honestly. Um, I'll be making a video about my uh, chipper idea and um, generator idea at another, another point. And uh, the extractor fan turned up for the bathroom. I'll make a video about that as well. So I'll see you soon.